we'll talk a little bit about whether Craigslist is dead and how come you don't hear about Craigslist anymore. Well, fun fact, it, Craigslist literally almost saved my life, and I'll get into that in a second. But I tried to list a couple of things recently, like a used vehicle and a few electronics, and literally nothing but in the last two months has been nothing but crickets. Literally nobody. The only person that would message me would be a scammer, and they would usually start off with saying, hey, dear, which you always know that that's a scammer because they don't know the English language and they're messaging from a cubicle in the Caribbean or India or somewhere like that trying to scam people. Or they have your whole listing title at the front of the message or they're asking for a code. Like, who does that? But why do I say Craigslist saved my life? Well, in 2010, I was going through a divorce and I just moved out of the house and I was trying to get reacclimated. I was about $15,000 in debt and my income was really low and I just, I started using my pickup truck and I would list saying, hey, I could help deliver something on my pickup truck. And I had this long Ford F-150 long bed pickup truck and literally I would get three, four, five calls a day from Craigslist when I kept putting the ad every day wanting to deliver something. So I would charge 50, 60, 70 dollars a pop and I would line up four or five of them in a row every day and I was just raking in the money, man. I was raking in the cash and I was able to get my, de my debt down, down, down. Every month I kept seeing it down. Well, I listed my used laptop for sale and I got like $150 for something I thought was junk and I was shocked. So then I started buying laptops off of eBay and reselling them on Craigslist in 2010 through about 2015 and 2016. Old MacBooks, laptops, and I swear to you, I was selling sometimes four, five, six laptops a day. And I was bringing in masses of amounts of cash. And I just, I was in love with Craigslist and I thought Craigslist would never go away. No way would Craigslist go away. Well, my electronic business started getting you know, a lot better and then I gravitated more just selling online on Amazon or eBay and then Craigslist kind of went away because I just started flipping stuff online instead of actually meeting someone out in a parking lot and selling them a used electronic and then them giving me cash. So that went away where I was just selling specifically online and that was it. So why the last few years has Craigslist gone down as far as viewerships? and people going onto the platform and using it. How come I don't use it anymore? 2016, Facebook Marketplace was founded. And as you know how big Facebook is, you know, they got like a yearly revenue of like, I don't know, $90 billion, that's billion with a B. They got 58,000 employees. And with Facebook, the good thing about Facebook is, I'm not saying you can't be anonymous, but usually you have to link up your, your account and your profile when you wanna buy and sell something. And of course, that's not always foolproof, but it's not just some, you can't just use some kind of burner phone, usually a burner phone and some random email and start spamming people from you know half halfway around the world. So I'm not saying that there's no scammers on Facebook, but being that they have 58,000 employees, they 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 are able to monitor and take a lot of the scammers out. Plus, you have some kind of a personal touch with Facebook, especially if you see someone's picture and you see that they're that they've been on the platform for a while. So there's some kind of there's some kind of credibility when it comes to Facebook. So Facebook is able to weed out a lot of the scammers, and you got people already on the platform, Facebook using it every day. So it's kind of like an inertia thing. You're on Facebook anyway, and then all oh, over here is Marketplace where I can just list something, and and you have that immediate tension. Whereas with Craigslist, it's either a text message or they send you a message that you might get in your hotmail maybe once a day or once every other day. So Craigslist has decided to stay lean throughout all these years. And Craigslist used to be like the top third most traffic website on the planet, like literally number three and four. Yet they only have like a staff of 50 people in San Francisco. They've not grown from 50 people. They're still a privately held company owned by Craig Newmark. Now, actually, eBay, a lot of people don't know this, eBay actually used to own 25% of Craigslist in the early 2000s. Craigslist had a minority co-owner who was kind of angry at the company, and they decided just to sell their 25% to eBay. And I think eBay wanted to buy the whole 100%. And to be honest with you, with Craigslist, 
as a company, that would probably be a better thing because they'd have more attention to all these scammers and all these bots coming onto Craigslist. And Craigslist uses the flagging system that's used by their own users like me and you. And we're human and we make mistakes. So you see a lot of good ads that are up there where people will flag them down where they're legitimate ads. Or you'll see all these, these bots and these scammers that are placing ads. So I think people have just lost trust on, Craig, on the platform. They don't know what's real, what's not. They get a text message. They don't know if it's real or not. They can't go to their profile to see if there's a human face and how long they've been on the platform like Facebook Marketplace. So a lot of people have just lost trust with Craigslist. Now they're starting to charge $5 here, $10 here. I had to pay five bucks just to place my vehicle to sell and zero crickets the last two months. So I paid $5 last month, I paid $5 this month, and my brother is like, dude, why don't you use Facebook Marketplace? No one's on Craigslist anymore, and duh. So then I started po posting my stuff on, on Facebook Marketplace. So being that Craigslist has a skeleton staff where they can't monitor things, yet they have all this traffic, it's no wonder people lose trust. I mean, even Macar, even OfferUp, OfferUp, has about, I don't know, a few thousand employees compared to 50. And you think about Facebook Marketplace has 58,000. Owner Craig, Craig Newmark, is worth over a billion dollars. And so I don't think he's really interested in selling the company. Craigslist definitely had its place and served its purpose after the dawn of the internet. Because, you know, in the 80s and 60s and 70s, people would look on the newspaper for ads. People would look at the trade post and they would call their rotary phone and make phone calls. So Craigslist was kind of like the middleman between old technology and new technology, people finding things online. But now with the dawn of Amazon and TikTok and things like this, you get things like this immediately. You order something, you get it in the mail, you don't have to actually go meet somebody and you get it the next day. That's, that's, that's the new era now, and Craigslist is not a part of that. What was the death nail in the coffin for Craigslist? Well, the pandemic of 2020. You had to stay six feet away from everybody. People were scared to go anywhere and meet people, especially if they didn't know them. So who's going to go and meet someone on Craigslist that you don't know, right? To, to buy a VCR, to buy a laptop or something. It just completely vanished their business model. It's changed people's personalities. It's changed the way people think about technology and life in the world and meeting people and trust. What Craigslist has lost the last few years before the pandemic with Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp completely was vanished and taken off the table with the pandemic. Is Craigslist still viable? I don't know how. I don't understand why they don't go to the e-recycling bin like MySpace did. The only way I could see Craigslist being relevant again is if it gets bought out by a big company like Google or Facebook to where they could put the manpower behind monitoring it, making sure to keep the scammers off, or actually having a real profile next to who you're buying from or who you're selling to. So if you ask what happened with Craigslist, now you know.